Hey, I'm your dialysis dietitian, and today's video will be strawberry popsicles. That's right. This will be dialysis friendly, but they still have a lot of sugar, so if you have diabetes, be careful. All right, let's do it. Hey, I'm John Diaz, your registered dietitian, and I've been working with patients on dialysis for the past few years. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I make cooking recipes for those, obviously for who are on dialysis and for family members who are also with them. And I also post uh, really cool tips uh, like food and drinks on my TikTok and Instagram and Facebook. Make sure to follow me there to get more tips other than cooking videos here on YouTube. And today, what I'm gonna talk about, it's gonna be how to make these cool strawberry paletas or popsicles. <laughs> All right, so we got some of these delicious and sweet strawberries cut up on the board. We got some fresh basil that I just picked from my, my little pot over here. Freshly cut lime, some honey. Honey. Honey? Honey? Now for honey, if you have diabetes, which most of you may have diabetes, you can also use sweeteners such as stevia, equal, splenda. You can use those sugar substitutes. Monk fruit, I believe, is one another one instead of honey. I'm thinking the honey just because uh, it just it does make it, it does give it a different flavor. Uh, and then we got the popsicle mold. Now, since you're on dialysis, all of you are already wondering, doesn't that count as a fluid? You're right. Popsicles do count as fluids. So do ice. Anything that melts, even jello. So what you can do here is you have to know how much fluid is held in this thing so you can keep count of your fluids every day. So check this out. You can all you can do this. Let's move this to the side. Since I already did this, I already know how much bits in here. I already put water in here so you can see this is how you measure your fluids. Find out how much water is in there before you freeze it. In this case, the popsicle. Bam, so it's about half a cup. So know that every popsicle that you make, that you consume, it's about half a cup or four ounces. Yeah, so that's half a cup for my popsicle mold. So you wanna check your popsicle mold because yours may be more or maybe less. But yeah, I meant for my mold, so check your mold. That's this much right here, that's four ounces. That's how you keep control of your fluids also, just so you know. So that's why, uh, that, that's, that's the best tip I can give you as a dietitian. So let's get, make, let's get to making these because uh, it's getting hot and it's summer. <laughs> snip, snip that fresh basil. Then you wash it, then you smack it. And then you get that naughty green lime and you slice it too. Then with all these red luscious berries, you slice them like so. Slice, 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 and slice. So, with all these ingredients, you're gonna put it in this nice blender. You're gonna group them, and they don't get along, so that's fine, because you're gonna blend these bitches until they do. <laughs> and, oh, slow motion for me, slow motion for me. Yeah, slow motion action right there. Mm hmm enjoy that. So, now back to the seriousness. All right, you're gonna put this honey, because it's gonna put it all together. Rotate the blender, obviously. Cap it, we don't want this uh, ingredients to escape. You blend. And uh, from there, uh, now you have a smoothie ready to be frozen. So in each of these popsicle molds, I do add some fresh strawberries and we add these uh, smoothies in there. And oh shit, I ran out. <laughs> so it's all right. It's still gonna be delicious. So you're gonna cap these motherfuckers and put it in the freezer. And bam, you get these bad bitches. So don't forget to hit the like subscribe and notification bell to not miss any new content that i post every other friday enjoy these popsicles in this hot freaking sun bye